Tuesday the 29th of August 2023, a very warm welcome to the channel and especially a warm welcome to all the new subscribers and everyone else as well who's been subscribing for me for years, maybe contributing financially if you want to, everything is in the link below. The title of this topic is Homeless Tent City, Japanese Fish and No Cash. Wow. A lot to cover today. Now, quite often you will see some videos of homeless people or tent cities from around the world. This one, I think, is in the United States of America. Now, believe it or not, some people do actually choose to live this lifestyle. Some people just had been had bad luck and have no choice in order to survive, etc., etc. You know the stories. Whatever it is, it's quite sad in any way. But China is always picking that America has so many tent cities, like in Philadelphia. Well, with patience and research, we have actually found a tent city of homeless people in China. You could say the CCP doesn't want to, this to be shown, but it's a kick in the teeth for the CCP. Here is a tent city in China of homeless people or people who don't want to be at a home. The Chinese government always just want to show China as this um, Shangri-La, the best place in the world to live. And there are wonderful places the same as anywhere else in the world. If I wanted to live in America, possibly I would like to, oh, I don't know, there's so many places I love. It could be New York, it could be San Francisco, it could be Fort Lauderdale, for example just to name a few. Houston is a really great city, love there. And some other places like Denver, really enjoyed being there when I used to work a, a long time ago, now retired. Now, moving on, the Japanese fish problem, the Japanese nuclear waste that's been put into the water, the nuclear treated waste. Now, of course, you could say most people will disagree with this and the Chinese governments are really having a go digging their teeth into um, the Japan because any little thing that Japan does wrong, China is going to make it colossal because of World War II. They're still going on about that. Can they just move forward from it? Should they have done it? Well, personally, no, they shouldn't have. There should be other ways to get rid of some treated nuclear waste, whatever it is. There are some um, confrontations related to what is in the nuclear water, but you have to be a scientist for that. One shill in China did actually put in a good point, saying that if the water is so good, why can't you use it for irrigation? Why can't you use it for farming, etc., etc.? But the Chinese government has banned, basically banned any import of Japanese fish. And now the Japanese, sorry, the Chinese people are getting a little bit worried about the fish and whatever, and they have gone in the last couple of days on a shopping frenzy, uh, getting supplies of the Chinese products in case it runs out. You may have seen some of these clips like this already on YouTube or on X. <laughs>
They say that the Chinese economy in China is booming and everything is okay. That's fine. That's good. Good for the people to have money to spend. But there are some contradictions here that the airports are really quiet. I'm going to show you Shanghai early in the morning. Shanghai, I think they have two airports. This is one of them. Don't know which one it is to be exactly. But it's really like a ghost city. You could go... One more piece of news to go. It feels like cash, real hardcore cash, has gone in China. And when you go to the shopping center or the supermarket or some small ones, they all want the electronic payment system. You may have one in your country. I definitely have one here. But I can always go to the ATM if someone, um, if a shop doesn't accept the electronic payment. In China, it's opposite. You need to have an electronic payment system. Either it's going to be through a company called WeChat or Alipay and this would be linked to your bank account. Now, if you're a foreigner coming into China, this makes life a real headache because you can't just go into a shop and they will say, WeChat, Alipay, and you say, no, cash, and they may just not accept it. But you can't download WeChat as a foreigner unless you have a friend in China who can verify. And you can't have a bank account unless you have the right kind of visa to have a bank account in China. So it becomes a nightmare. Now, I could imagine that the big hotels, yep, they're going to be fine with credit cards. I'm sure there's ATM machines to take out the cash if you need it. But some of the shops will just say no to it. So this poor girl I'm going to show you, I have shown a video of hers before, is like surviving. She's an ABC, Chinese-born American, visiting her uncle in Shanghai and just saying, oh my God, it's a nightmare. So I am in Shanghai and I am in an absolute shit mood right now because I've always considered Shanghai to be a, there's a Chinese idiom called Jing Chen Wan Nan, which means money can basically accomplish anything. And apparently that is no longer the case because I have money, but because I'm not all up on this government monitored WeChat global social monetary control information system, I'm not able to even buy a fork phone. And it's extremely frustrating, and I basically just had to get my uncle to give me one of his old phones and set it up with a different bank card just so I can spend like 50 cents. It is an outrage. It's horrible what China has become. And I mean, it's not like I didn't even try to set this shit up. I did. I like, was on WeChat 
giving them my passport two days before I flew out. But then, because I was traveling and because I was spending money abroad, Chase flagged a charge because I was out of the country and that's what banks do. And I accepted the charge, but that alone, that activity alone was enough to get it disconnected from my WeChat WePay. And now I can't pay for anything. And I'm hungry. That brings us to a close on the 29th of August, Tuesday, 2023. Now, on Thursday, I'm disappearing on holiday for a while. I'm going off to Thailand because I got a really good price. I do have this brand new camera for a couple of months. So I will be showing some videos that just straps on my chest, basically, of the place where I'm going to. Yes, I'm going to Pattaya. So I'm going to do lots of the, uh, you could say, nightlife there. I'm just basically going to hang out with my friends for a couple of days. So please subscribe to that and make sure you hit that notification button so you know when a video will come out. I will try to do as many as possible when I'm there. YouTube is my hobby and I really actually like making videos for you. So have a happy day. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Fantastic. And be good to each other. Bye bye for now. Thanks for your time.